What makes the most business sense? Building an ocean liner replica. Like Clive Palmer's Titanic 2. Or. Renovating an aging liner, like the SS United States, back to service? Let's look at the SS United States first. The SS United States is a retired ocean liner built 1950 to 1951, for the United States lines. The ship is the largest ocean liner constructed entirely in the United States. She was also the fastest ocean liner to cross the Atlantic, gaining the Blue Ribbon Award in 1952. In 1996 he was towed to Pier 82 on the Delaware River, in Philadelphia, where she remains today, slowly rusting away. In 2016, Crystal Cruises announced that it had signed a purchase option for the SS United States. Crystal conducted a feasibility study on returning the ship to service as a cruise ship. This slideshow features the renderings of the Crystal concept. Later the plan was formally dropped. Crystal Cruises cited the presence of too many technical and commercial challenges. In 2012, Australian mining billionaire, Clive Palmer announced that he was going to build a replica of the 1912, Titanic Ocean Liner, to be called Titanic II. This would be a fully functioning ship, which would generally look like the original. He would replicate the ship's original interiors, including the lavish public rooms. Titanic 2 will be about the same size as the original and have a similar passenger capacity, of 2,435. However, the ship would feature modern technology and modern safety systems. As far as we are aware, in 2021, the ship is still in its design phase. No steel has yet been cut. Many commentators believe the Titanic 2 will never be completed. Other commentators are very enthusiastic about the project. So in conclusion. Both projects face the same stumbling block. The need for the ships to comply with all the modern maritime safety regulations. In the case of the SS United States, the hull and many other parts of the ship would need completely rebuilding. Not just because of age but to make the design compliant with modern safety regulations. It could be argued that it would no longer be the same ship. The Titanic II will also require new systems such as radar, and modern lifeboats, in abundance. It can be argued that she will not be a replica Titanic at all. It is arguably easier, and possibly cheaper, to build a new ocean liner. That is exactly what Cunard did in 2003 to create the wonderful Queen Mary II.